What up, players? Wobots, stay up in this mud. Happy Sunday to you, wherever you are. It's the day after the Vampire Counts release, and I got me a whole lot of swag. And one of the things I got was this beautiful, fine cast, Isabella von Karstein. Super stoked. I'm really happy to have bought her. I love the sculpt. I love the model. It was like the, the last one in the, uh, in the hobby store, so I'm really glad I got her. The, um, the, the, the model comes in one sprue, one fine cast sprue, it says fine cast. I don't know if I, I showed the White King um, model, but because it was plastic, let's do a little reference shot. It's bigger and it does not have the fine cast labeling at the bottom. But you'll notice how how big it is compared to the Isabella one, it just kind of dwarfs it. So, no complaints here. The plastic one came together really well, and now we're gonna take a look at whether or not Fine Cast um, is gonna mess me up again. So, you get, you get one sprue, and mine came a little funky bent. Uh, I don't know if that's normal or not. Hope it, hope it is, because um, it's pretty messed up. And let's take a look at the pieces. You get one full body, head, and legs. The two arms come separate and are attached at the bottom. And you get the little vampire cloak in the back. Um, there, there are a couple of really small air bubbles, or what I thought were air bubbles, that were actually tears in the cloak when you look at the picture on the, the front of the clamshell. Like that one. See, these, they've got to be, th those have got to be meant to be there, right? Because you can't really tell. Let me show you the picture can't really tell if there are holes there or not because her arm with the chalice is covering it but if those are miscasts that's pretty messed up fine cast how could you do this to me she's also got flash on her chin you can see some flash on her chin but the oh but boy the detail in her Louis the 14th wig and her uh <coughs> the sculpt is really really nice nonetheless and the details of the lace the lace here under in her skirts fantastic really unbelievable i hope that you know that detail will you know you really need to love painting this model uh and and if not if you get this model and you just want to do it up quick to get it on the battlefield then shame on you you really should take your time and paint this lady nice because she deserves she deserves nice things Let's take a look at the arm with the chalice. Looks okay. Can't really tell if there are mold lines or not. You do see a lot of flash though. Let's take a look at the back side. Oh, look at all this. No, they're not miscast. They're supposed to be like that. She's a vampire. Yeah, her clothes are all, you know, faded and so Ooh, look at that bag of her wig. Looks like a spinal column. Oh, gross. Awesome, but gross. Oh, that's so nasty. Uh, and here's the other side of her arms. So what I'm going to do is I am going to snip this out, snip these pieces out, and clean her up and then put her together. And we will see the cleaned up version ready for priming as soon as I get back. All right, so here we have Miss Isabella all built up. And you'll notice, for those of you who buy her, that the worst thing about this model is that the, her, her left foot is the only thing that connects her to her tab, which is the thing that you slot into the base. So it's r really, um, I don't know, I think it's a really weak point to have. Like most models have a uh, more of a surface area touching the tab but because it's such a feminine model and she's lifted up almost on the point of her toe point of her foot the um she's only connected by one foot to the base which means that you know if you manhandle her too much then it's a lot easier to 
break her off her base than another model which is connected by say two feet or both feet. Also there's a lot of flash connecting the bottom of her dress to her base and the base itself, the fine cast base is wider than the base uh, the slot on the base which means that you're gonna have to trim off the sides which was a much bigger problem when the models used to come in metal and I think might be one of my only complaints about not this mo model not being in metal was that it was it was hard to to shave off the the sides of the base and even if you snip those off with the hobby clippers what you find is that the base width because they write Games Workshop on one side and Vampire Counts on this side is too wide for the for the actual slot so you have to shave that down with a with a hobby knife or um, yeah find some other way to sand that down just to make it fit into the slot itself so uh, with resin it's really easy you just have to take your hobby knife and shave off the letters the lettering the Games Workshop lettering and the Vampire Counts label um, but like I said, there was a lot of flash connecting her dress to her base, and there was also a lot of flash on her gauntlet areas, especially with the sword. With the gauntlets, they look a lot like Vlad's, and um, and so when there's when there's a lot of flash connecting like the hand to her, the sword hand to her gauntlet, the the flash kind of ruins these fine lines that you see on the gauntlet um, where did it it was really a problem on the underside of her arm carrying the goblet which you can't really see now because I use a fine um, file and a hobby knife to scrape most of it away but um, thank goodness too that most of it was on the underside of her arm holding the goblet um, the lace like I said, it's really fine detailed, really nice, and I accidentally, to get the flash off the bottom of the dress, I accidentally scraped too much of it, so the bottom layer of lace was pretty, got a little messed up on the, the right side of her body, but thankfully with the with the basing material, ballast, and just the way the model is, you, don't, you can't really tell. Also, for those of you who get this model, you might notice two really prominent mold lines and her lady bits going vertically there and there and those are really hard to scrape away especially if you're a new modeler or you're new to fine cast and you use your hobby knife um, because the way her <clears throat> lady bits are so sculpted so fully there um, it, it's really easy to scrape too much of the top layer away and kind of ruin the shape so I might need to go back and put some liquid green stuff on them just to fill them out again uh, but other than that I love the model like I said the wig it really makes it stand out it looks a lot better than the last Isabella um, Frankenstein's wife fright night hair and just the the stark gothic Victorian armor and dress makes makes it really look really nice and the tattered frayed cape adds a nice touch to it as well so I'm really happy with this model. I really love all the detail on it. And I think she'll make a great wife for Vlad on the battlefield. One thing I want to note that I was reading her entry in the army book and I think it's interesting that <laughs> this is one of the few cases where most of the times people complain about how the, the rules don't match the fluff. And um, this is one of the cases where I thought the fluff doesn't match the rules and I know the fluff probably was written longer than the rules but she's got to rule her and Vlad that if they're in the same army and one of them dies the other one gets hatred and frenzy for the rest of the game but in the fluff Vlad was the one to die first and she was fighting on top of the um, the defenses of Altdorf and when she felt him die then instead of going frenzy and getting hatred for the, the soldiers she was fighting she just kind of went uh, ah, and jumped off the jumped off the wall and impaled herself on the stakes below so it would have been awesome to see her go into a in the fluff go into a raving crazy bestial Vargulf kind of like monster but um, the rules are, are, are pretty cool her chalice the rules for her chalice on um, healing 
other vampires or other models in her unit is pretty cool, other characters. And like I said, the, the model is great. The rules are great, the fluff is great, the model is absolutely gorgeous. So highly recommend it if you're a Vampire Counts player. Even if you're not going to use her as Isabella, paint her up and just have her as a vampire in your army because she is fantastic. <clears throat> And um, if you want to use her as a vampire and you're thinking what else you, you could do, how you could change her, you could cut off her left hand at the wrist and give her like the left hand of a dark Eldar holding maybe like a knife in a reverse grip or you know something else like that and then you can give the chalice hand to uh, maybe a blood angels model and uh, use him as a sanguinary novitiate or whatever they call it, the sanguinary priest that would be pretty cool and fluffy just have to bulk out the hand so it doesn't look as feminine but um and maybe green stuff some ceramite plating but that's something you could do anyways thanks for watching this unboxing hope you enjoyed it i'm i'm i uh, just want to let you know that i'm also continuing to paint my ogres while i'm doing these uh unboxings waiting for them to load and stuff see got my iron guts on the way so We'll be doing more ogre videos in a little while, but I figured I might as well do all these unboxings, get them out of the way now, while um, while they're still fresh and still have that new fine cast smell. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment, like the video, and we'll see you in the next one.